Hello, what I'm about to cover in this video, very, very few shredders, YouTube shredders, or any guitar shredders, would have the nerve to actually do and present on a video, especially without any practice, to be able to do this just straight out in a video, unrehearsed, very, very few people would have the nerve to do. And it's called Picking Stamina. It's covered in this book. We're going to be using um, two of the primary picking exercises in this book. And I'll just tell you, in case you've bought the book, which ones they are. Um, it will be Exercise 8 and Exercise... 8a okay and that's from the primary picking exercises in my book and you can see that's the book there it's available you can find all about it at robinholbert.com okay so I don't want to spend too much time talking about the exercises I can do that in another video so I can slow them down so you'll be able to play them and learn them yourself if you're an advanced guitar player, you might be able to pick up what I'm doing without me having to slow it down too much. But this is picking stamina. As a subject mentioned in the book, a lot of people can play fast in a short burst, but there's very few that can keep it going uh, for a long duration. The point of keeping it going for a long duration is very, very simple. The longer you can pick fast, the better and easier it is, even when you're playing in short bursts, so it improves your overall playing. That's why picking stamina, as I call it, is so important. So, this is how you do it. There's two ways of doing it, but this, I think, is probably the most extreme and brutal way of doing it. You have to be really dedicated to play it the way I do, but it's the most effective. The first way, and the most common way, is you practice an exercise over and over again for so many minutes. One minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Some people can even go further. That's impressive, and it does a lot for your guitar playing. This doesn't take as long, but it's harder. What you do is you take your exercise, for example, we're going to use this exercise, like I said, it's exercise 8 and exercise 8A from the book, Ultimate Guitar Picking Method, and we'll just get straight on with it. So, so that is exercise, let me just check I was right. I said I'm new to making videos if I make a few mistakes uh, please forgive me though this is exercise 10 I'm sorry so exercise 10 and exercise 10a like I said I'm new to presenting videos please forgive me if I make mistakes I'm talking totally off the cuff there's no edits and that does take trust me that takes some nerve to do so here we go. Exercise 10, if you've got the book, followed by exercise 10A. So this is exercise 10. That's it once. This is it once slowly. So we'll turn it back in. And then we've got exercise 10A. Now the difference between those two it doesn't matter what fret they're on, the main difference is that the first one uses the first, the third and the little finger and the second one uses the first, the second and the little finger. So by practicing one after another, alternating between the two, you're getting an even practice of all four fingers. Very important. And you're also covering the two most common scale shapes. So, this is it, straight on with a picking stamina. The ultimate challenge, and like I said, this is very, very few, this is something that very few guitar players, shredders, would have the nerve to do on video, unrehearsed, but I'm going to do it, and I'm deliberately 
if you combine the fact that I'm using an extremely unforgiving tone with no reverb delay or delay and <coughs> a little tiny bit of analog overdrive it's a harsh tone it's very unforgiving it's excellent for practicing and it's good for demonstrating things um, and it's it's done like this so we do two times on fret two then you move to the next exercise which uses the second finger so that's two times one fret higher but with exercise 10 a then back to exercise 10 one fret higher and like I said, I'll do an extra video explaining the exercise in more in depth. So please um, don't expect an in-depth explanation of these exercises. If you're learning and you're still trying to uh, pick things up, if it's too fast, this is about picking stamina. I'll do another one where I slow things down a little bit more. Or you can buy the book. And... So I do two times on each fret, alternating between the two variations of the same exercise. We're going an even amount of practice with all fingers. I started on fret two. And I will end on fret 14. So I've covered 12 frets. That's the principle. This is how it works. Picking stamina, my method and approach to picking stamina is where you play your exercise twice. It could be once, it could be twice, it could be four times. But in this case, twice on each fret. And if it doesn't use all four fingers, you alternate between the two exercises. One that uses these, and then the other one that uses these three. And it's as simple as that. Picking stamina is to be able to go for 12 frets for the same exercise, alternate picking, without stopping. Very, very hard. And like I said, what I'm about to do, very, very few guitar players, YouTube shredders, or anyone out there, would actually have the nerve to do because the odds of running out of energy before the end and looking like a lousy guitar player are very very high I'm not going to edit the video we're just going to get straight on and try it so what you do this is how you do it there's two steps to it you play it once all the way through as a long exercise slowly but you pick extremely hard and you press your fingers down extremely hard to train up the coordination between the hands and to strengthen the fingers. Then two, the second stage, which is probably, let me just nudge the mouse again because the screen's gone blank. The second stage is where you play it as fast as you possibly can. Or maybe not quite as fast as you possibly can, you pick a tempo that's challenging and you maintain it all the way to the end. So here we go, straight on with the exercise without too much of a delay. Had to explain it though. So this is it, slow. Notice I'm picking very hard and hit my fingers down hard. And that's not to sound nice, it's just for coordination, training for muscles. Amplifies the electrical signal to the brain so you learn the pattern well to be honest when you're playing that hard 
takes quite a bit of stamina to get to the end anyway, even slow. So that's it. And then fast. That is hard. I mean, that is really hard. So that's training the picking stamina. And like I said, with an unforgiving tone, playing fast and hard, two times on each exercise all the way to the end. You could make it even harder to do if you did it four times on each exercise. And just for the sake of proving that I've got the nerve to do that and to see if I can get to the end without actually cutting out I'll give it a go and it's not just I'm not doing this really just for an ego trip to say I can do the exercise all the way to the end there's a lot more to guitar playing than just this but it's a training exercise and it's something that really will show um, you know the weaknesses in your playing and whether or not certain things still need to be practiced and if somebody could do this four times on each exercise picking hard and accurately on a clean tone or something close to a clean tone then you know that's a, that is a display of a real really well practiced guitar player so we'll try it it's going to be four times on each one. We'll see if I can do it. Okay, so here we go. Let's get slightly warmed up here. And you can see it's very good exercise. So what we need to do, I nearly forgot, you've got to do it four you've got to do the whole thing slow, then the whole thing fast. This will take a while because I'm doing four times on each one slow, but this is what's advocated in the book. You should always alternate between slow and playing hard and just letting it fly and play as fast as you can. So here we go. This is it slow. Please stay with me. You might find this boring or very irritating to listen to, but it's how you practice. When you're practicing, it's different to performing. I must say, so... Um, I will in the future do some more videos where I'm just performing using my favourite guitar sounds and improvising and getting some great sounds out of it. But this is how <coughs> this is how guitar players practice or should practice, shredders practice when they're home. This is what happens behind the scenes, okay? This is why, like I said, very few shredders will do this because it will expose their weaknesses. So here we go. Four times on each from 2, fret 2 to fret 14, slow and hard to develop the accuracy, then 4 times on each, fret 2 to fret 14, fast. So, here we go. Hang on. I think... I don't even think that was four times, but so we'll try again. Like I said, no edits. So keeping your fingers very jumpy 
expand your movement while you pick an angle. So by the time you get to this bit, you should be quite tired. This is hard to do. But it's all about getting your playing up to speed and a good standard in a short time frame. Matter of months instead of years, and it will do that. This method of practicing will do that. Just about did it. Ben Fast. just about did it but like I said it's mega difficult but the point is it didn't take me very long and you can see it gets your arm pumped okay now that's got to be some really good exercise for you if it develop if you're practicing to such an extent sorry let me just move my mouse again screen's blanked out if you're practicing such to such an extent that it actually trains your muscles, causes fatigue and strain on your muscles, then that is going to cause accelerated progress in your guitar playing. And you will be playing quick in a very, very short time frame, which is what this book promises. It also says that it's the most brutal brutal content on picking and, and the speed playing that you can get and that's because it's honest it doesn't advocate playing lightly for months years even decades and never developing speed it advocates playing intensely and i believe if you follow the advice in the book and you do what i do and i just what i demonstrated there you it does this with various exercises you will be able to play fast and your general playing will just improve that exercise you could say well I've developed speed in one exercise it's not just about one exercise that improves your general playing 
because your stamina, your picking stamina, your strength in your fingers, your hands and your arms improves and you can't get that by exercising or just lifting weights, okay? You could get big arms if you're lifting weights. I'll do more on the actual physical aspect of it because there's different, um, there's different types of muscle fibers, it's very complicated. You only get good, you only get strong picking technique by practicing the guitar. There's various exercises that could help, but the way, what I just did then is more exhausting and harder than a lot of um, really physical, even weightlifting to be honest. That is tough. And that's why very few guitar players would do that exercise, um, especially four times on each one from fret 2 to fret 14. It's exhausting, but, you know, what can I say? It didn't take me very long. If somebody did that every day, what would it take? Five or ten minutes. If somebody did that every day and they had the nerve to push themselves to actually do that, that would make more progress than light, relaxing playing um, maybe for two or three hours. So that will improve your speed and that's what this is about. Improving your speed and developing a great picking technique. So now, after I've had a little bit of a rest, when I go back to playing just casually again, I'll notice that everything will seem easier and lighter. It's like, um, you know, you've trained to such a level but medium playing has become so easy that now you don't have to worry about the technical aspect. You can just play for it like a breeze and you will then find it so much easier to work on your timing and expression and all the other things that will make it sound more musical because you're not worrying about the technique. The technique's been dealt with as a separate issue and that's what this book's about. It's about it's not so much about music, it's about dealing with technique as a separate issue, which is the main issue, that is the issue that stops people from getting to the level they want to get to. This deals with it, and it's dealt with. Okay, and if you need to top up, you just come back to the book and you top up on your technique. It's simple as that, it deals with it so simply, but then you can get on if you want to be bluesy, if you want to have a particular... Uh, style, if you're into metal, you want to develop the finer aspects of that, you can work on that because the technique is almost totally natural and effortless because of the training that you've done behind the scenes on that level of technique and trust me it works okay um, if you've enjoyed this video or if you're impressed by it at all you know, like I said, I put my neck on a line to play something that's extremely hard but could be disastrous. But the odds are, the reason I said that most people wouldn't attempt it, their arm would prob or their fingers or something would cut out before they got to the end of the exercise. That's what's called picking stamina because they get fatigued and they couldn't handle it to the end. It's a test. If you can get to the end, there's very few exercises and occasions where in a solo where you'd have to pick for that long so if you can get to the end with something that long something that's half as long or quarters as long it's easy you haven't got to worry about struggling to get to the end of the exercise because you know you can do that for longer um, at speed so yeah if you've enjoyed the video at all and like I said this is the fourth video of a series of many videos it could be hundreds um, but it relies on a little bit of support, so please, um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. And that's it. So, see you next time. Thanks.